Well, boys, I want to be Liza P using one of the first starting classes at the beginning of the game. So it's time to explain a couple rules. I'm only going to allow myself to level up and upgrade my P organ. Yes, that's what it's called. I also will be fighting the bosses solo and not upgrading my weapon. There is one thing I kind of messed up on at the beginning. I ended up using the puppet string during my playthrough. I didn't actually know that you didn't have to use this until later on. Could have actually kept the left arm of steel. But even with puppet string, this challenge was still pretty difficult. And I did use some legion magazines so i could use my legion arm a little bit more but that's really it so i guess it's time to begin so i decided to be a bastard and use a dexterity build pretty solid starting class considering how fast i am and to mention this is my first time ever playing this game so i took my time learning how to murder puppets killed the first challenging enemy and learned about my fable wards as i continued my journey i ran into a merchant these guys are completely useless considering i won't be buying anything from them and only sticking to what i have so out of frustration i broke down this door and was already about to fight the first boss. This is the Parade Master. I think a really good boss to start this game out on because he's not too difficult to fight and he's pretty easy. So easy in fact I beat him on my first go. I will admit I did try to do a no damage run before I did this challenge so I had a little bit of practice. But don't worry I didn't even get to the second boss in that run. But after the Parade Master the real game begins. I leveled up in the completely wrong way and as I was about to leave this hotel this is where they forced me to use the puppet string. You can actually not use it but but it's a little too late to mention that now i killed some headless puppets until i ran into a mad donkey and i got destroyed this is when i figure out that i don't know how to play the game and that i probably took way too long on this fight but i am still learning like right here i'm using charged heavy attacks so that i can get a stagger on them and then get set up for a fatal attack right after but i started to get the hang of it and then eventually i felt like an animal abuser what have i done why are you proud of me but anyway welcome to the next boss fight the scrapped watchman Yeah, that didn't go well, so I decided to be a perfect time to learn how to level up. I can farm Ergo pretty early on, right before I even had to fight this boss. So after doing a little bit of leveling up, I tried again. Can't really say it helped me out too much because I still got destroyed. On top of this, this boss has a status effect called Electric Shock, which takes away your special move known as Fable Arts. So that's a problem. I had no idea what I was getting myself into when I was playing this game, but oh boy did the Scrapped Watchman introduce me to hell. However, I did learn how to parry a little bit. Too bad can't parry grabs. Despite being slammed around over and over, I eventually did get the win. And I did some more leveling up in the completely wrong places again. But that's okay, because I'm about to activate something far more powerful than leveling up. P organs are the source of your powers. Yes, the P organ. I mainly try to use it so I can get more pulse cells, but it also can enhance your build depending on what you're going for. After doing a little bit of construction, I come to my next boss fight. It's basically like fighting a furnace to be honest, but he's a bay blade with cannons. And what can I say, pretty bad at the game, I have no help, and I'm using the same weapon I started out with. Looking back at it, this boss fight really wasn't that bad, it was just me, and I barely beat him. I moved on to the mining part of the game and saw the creepiest thing ever. But my strategy of run and don't look has always worked out for me. Until you get to this place, let me introduce you to Decay. This is a status effect that depletes your health and the durability of your weapon. And just in general, this place sucked. Yeah, screw this place. After killing the big bad enemy in this area, I got rewarded with beauty, and not long after, rewarded with pain. This next boss fight was interesting. This is where I personally felt like the game really ramped up in difficulty. One of the biggest reasons is because this boss has decay. I'm sorry, I just have a personal vendetta against this status effect, but this definitely seems like this is where you actually need to learn how to parry in the game. And hey, I actually beat him. Oh wait, there's a second phase. Luckily, you can run behind this boss and it's basically just the first phase all over again with some extra attacks. This boss fight definitely took me a while. If I had to take a guess, maybe between two to three hours, but eventually you kind of get good.
And look at that. Determination and ambition actually did something for me. Found another ergo farm and then I decided to level up a little bit more. And much later got tricked by these two idiots. That's because they led me right into the Black Rabbit Brotherhood. For obvious reasons, that didn't go well. The reason why this is kind of a challenging boss fight is because you actually have to fight four people and you're dealing with the big brother of this group and he's pretty wild. I did learn that you can fish for backstabs and this helped out a ton. So this gave me more time to focus just on the big brother. And the last sibling to jump in was kind of difficult, but as long as you can get those backstabs, you should be okay. With all the other siblings gone, the big brother has to die. Yeah, I guess I destroyed a family, but you know what? These guys suck. Maybe you shouldn't ambush people. After this fight, we get to see the gold coin tree, which basically lets you reset levels and the P organ, which I end up doing later on. The next boss fight we encounter is the white lady. She was definitely a pretty interesting fight, especially considering she had a parry, but I just kept going for backstabs and this fight wasn't too bad. But I can't say that about this next boss. The King of Puppets is my next introduction to the second layer of hell. This fight was insane and it took me a little while to beat him, but I did it. Until you realize you haven't fought the real boss. Oh, Romeo, when did you start watching anime? I decided to collect some items so that I can upgrade the P organ. Because trust me, Romeo is different. Those items being known as quartz. You can get them from chest, fighting enemies, and sometimes boss fights. And they all allow you to upgrade the P organ. For instance, this mad clown who makes me want to stab myself in the eyes with nails. But he does have quartz, so it's worth it. I also reset my level and made sure to make a dexterity build instead of a strength build. Now that I'm using the starting class effectively, I actually had a chance. Well, kinda. But after beating the mad clown puppet, I upgraded my P organ a little bit more and went to go kill Romeo. I definitely learned that side dodging was way better to use when fighting Romeo. And remembering to be patient and attack him when I need to definitely helped. But he still had some surprises. A lot of surprises. What was that, Romeo? Even though I was getting better at beating Romeo, still having to go through the first phase definitely made it a little bit more difficult. But eventually my patience paid off and he's not gonna get to meet Juliet. I moved on into some more fierce enemies and some crazy areas until I got to my next boss fight, Victor the Champion. To be completely honest, Victor the Champion isn't much of a threat. He does have a second phase, but he doesn't get all his health back. And mainly you can just side dodge all his attacks and you'll be fine. I didn't even parry actually. Maybe this fight took a total of six tries. And to be quite honest, man, I, I felt pretty good about that. I thought I was getting better at the game. Well, hopefully I don't have to fight that person. Moving on, I went to some more fun areas. I'm just joking, I hate this place. But it wasn't nearly as bad as the green swamp monster. Well, I quit fighting this boss pretty fast. You wanna guess why? Hey, you're right, it's Decay. One of the main reasons why this boss sucked is some of his attacks would instantly give you Decay. Just look how fast my weapon is breaking. It just has to take away my health as well. Since I have to sharpen my weapon, this leaves me vulnerable to attacks. But yeah, he sucked, but hey, I beat him. Never mind, second phase. And I barely beat his first phase, so you already know how this went. I know I'm being kind of lame, but I felt like it was just so unfair fighting this boss with Decay. But I am reminding myself this is a challenge run because I love to torture myself. Fought this boss for a little while until I thought it was just better off that I go find upgrades for the P organ and to do a little bit more leveling up. Definitely think this helped out a lot.
It was tears of joy after this fight was finished. I had to fight some more decaying enemies, and then I had to go up against Robber Weasel. I mean, he gave me a little bit of trouble, but these kind of fights are not that difficult in my opinion. Also, have I mentioned how beautiful this game looks? Then they make you hate it because then they kill you with status effects. The next boss encounter was the Walker of Illusions. I definitely did not have the parrying down for this fight, and it's even worse because she decides to duplicate herself later on. Not gonna lie, I'm not really the biggest fan of the last two boss fights, because the green swamp monster can give you instant decay as soon as he hits you, and anytime you have to fight multiple enemies in a boss fight, it's not fun. Got really close to winning this boss fight too, and started playing too defensive and got scared. Oh, I just love suffering. But after I decided to dodge her attacks instead of parrying them, I was way better off and I was able to beat her. So you remember when I said that I hated the last two boss fights because one had decay and the other had multiple enemies? This has both. The Corrupted Parade Master has decay, which automatically breaks my heart, and he can spawn in enemies. He also has the kind of decay that if it hits you, it's almost instant every time. This is a perfect example of why I hate it. As you can tell, I'm sharpening my weapon and I get death for it. Or I just simply die because my health depletes when I have decay as well. And Corrupted Parade Master does a decent amount of damage, two hits and I'm dead, not including the decay I also have. And I found a pointless to kill the enemies he spawns in because he spawns in another one immediately afterwards. And he has a grab, which also gives you decay and deletes your health bar. If you didn't know, I hate decay. But I'm gonna stop complaining and try to enjoy this boss fight. What a fight that was. Things are definitely starting to change. Apparently someone's a hypocrite. Oh, and I have to fight the Black Rabbit Brotherhood again. But instead of fight two at a time, I gotta fight three at a time. Yeah, it sucked. So I decided to take a break and get some upgrades. I also did another farm so I can level up a little bit more. I mainly tried to put my focus on killing the Battle Maniac. I felt like he was the most difficult to deal with. As long as I focused on him and got some backstabs, I felt like I was going to be okay. And I made sure to kill the other two siblings at the same time, so I wouldn't have to fight one of the siblings and the big brother. <laughs> And my strategy for the big brother is great. I ran around these trash bags and baited his attacks until I was able to kill him. It's time to go on my next adventure. Things were definitely starting to get epic. The next boss fight was the door guardian. He was giving me a good amount of trouble at first because I was doing no damage to him. But once you get the stagger on him, you actually take away half his health. Once I learned this, this boss fight really was easy. Now I have a lot of enemies to get by before I have my next boss fight, which means I'm going to hate my life for a little while. The next fight was the black cat. And I don't even want to consider this a boss fight this was actually really easy and i'll admit he did beat me once but on my second try it was over i wish i could say that about the second boss it's time for you to meet melania 2.0 yeah this is a problem and the worst part is you haven't even seen the second phase That's what crippling depression looks like, boys. By far, this was the hardest boss in the entire game for me. It actually took me like three to four days just to learn how to beat her.
This is honestly my biggest achievement so far in this game, because nothing else is going to be as difficult as that. Moving on, I had to fight Red Fox, which honestly, which wasn't even a big deal considering what I just had to deal with, and I was already at the final boss of the game. What's crazy, I wasn't even trying, and I beat his first phase. Now his second phase is a different story. This final boss fight kind of reminds me of the Elden Beast, mainly because there's just a lot going on, there's so many things being thrown at you. The only difference is the Awakened God doesn't run away and constantly chases you. But this boss fight has nothing on Laxasia the complete. And there it is boys, we beat Liza P only using the starting class. You can consider the puppet string being an L and those Legion magazines, but I only did use the Legion magazines during the Black Rabbit Brotherhood fight. Still a pretty hard challenge and I'm so happy I was able to do it, but I did get the bad ending. So all those humans are now puppets, so that's terrifying. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys later.